welcome to Rachel Kasky Art. And today I am working on an abstract piece. Um, I painted gesso onto this uh, mixed media paper in one of my mixed media journals. And uh, as you see, I started with some pencil markings. Um, I'm using the water soluble crayons and uh, the china black china marker and now I'm going in with black acrylic paint and uh, I wanted to dry that off to go in with the next layer and I'm just doing some markings and wetting down the uh, water soluble crayons and I'm doing some more etchings in the black paint I wanted to create multiple layers for this piece. I've been watching YouTube videos of other abstract artists that use this technique and I was very excited to use this myself. So I'm um, uh, adding white over top of the black now. And, uh, and then I'm making marks in the white over the, the black. And now I'm coming in with a beautiful lavender color purple. Uh, if you see the, you see that the camera move a couple times, my, uh, camera holder, it was, it's actually, um, being filmed with my phone and my phone holder fell at least four times during the filming of this um, video. But uh, it's it still came out okay, I'm impressed. Um, here I'm using a pink oil pastel. I came in with a green, lime green oil pastel after that. Then we'll, I move on to some black marks in acrylic paint. Uh, when I started on this piece, I honestly had no idea what I was going to work on just kind of works work it with works with some marks and uh, color to see what I came up with just kind of have fun with the process I love this orange I just bought this acrylic um, paint for this orange color and now I'm lay Putting a layer of um, pink over top of the lavender markings, the lavender paint. Okay, next. I, I came in with the blue. wasn't sure what I was going to do with this blue, but I really wanted to add it in there. And then I put it <laughs> way too much of it than I expected. I have a tendency to use a lot of color. It's very hard for me to keep to a uh, minimal um, palette. So I'm just trying that so I can go in and etch in some drawings over top. I decided to go with like a house theme and a, what looks like kind of like a palm tree behind the houses. But I love this teal color. It looks so good on this background.
making more teal marks. And I'm going in and drawing the next house and painting it. Some going back in with some white marks. some yellow just it really pops when you throw some yellow in there I am an impatient artist so I don't ha like to wait for the other paints to dry if they you know mix in a little together that's fine some extra decoration here. Scratches in there. And a little bit of accent with the white. Some finishing touches. And we're done. Thank you for watching.